This is going to be a video product review of the Brasso multi-purpose metal polish and I will be comparing it to the Wright's brass and copper polish cleaner. Make sure you stay until the end. There is really a surprise that I discovered while reviewing both of these and comparing these. So if you were interested, watch to the end. I will be leaving affiliate links in the video description. If you click on them, you'll be able to purchase both of these. Please do that. Support my channel. And here we go. Let's watch the video now to find out which one is better. We can see over here on this owl. This is a very old owl. And I have been working on this area with the Wright's Brass Polish. This is a very delicate piece of uh, copper. Yeah, I think this is copper. Um, very delicate, and so this does require some polishing effort. You have to be very gentle. If you have something that's very solid, then this will be great because you don't have to worry about uh, damaging it. With this thing, I have to be very careful. Very well, I would have to be careful no matter what. But I have to put the, I have to apply the cream, and then lightly uh, polish back and forth. Now, it doesn't appear to be much residue that stays on the material after uh, I wipe it off. So we can see over here right now. Sorry this is being done in the bathroom, but this is the only place that I can do the video right now. Um, we can see the, uh, the eye has been done. On the right side, a little bit of the eye. But the rest of it, this hasn't been done. This has, been, this has taken uh, probably about an hour to polish. So it's very time consuming if you have something very sensitive and delicate. And if you don't, then you're okay. I am going to be leaving a product link, an affiliate link in the video description for both the Wrights and the Brasso. So if you want to order them, it will help me out if you click on those links. And even if you don't want to order them, before you put in your Amazon order, I'm shaking the bottle up. If you uh, click on those links, it will definitely help me out, keep my channel going. So I'm going to try Brasso right now for the first time. I just got the thing in the mail. Um, and I'm going to see, ooh, kind of shot out of the tube. I want to see what it does. Um, let's work on the side of the, this is much thicker. It's a much thicker cream than the Wrights. I don't know how it's going to work. Brasso's been around forever. And so, uh, are we getting any of this on the video? I hope so. Let's get some of this on the video. So I'm just going very gentle right now because I want to see how this works compared to rights. Um, if my videos help you, please do a thumb. Oh, I'm already impressed. If, if my videos help you, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, a share. Leave a comment if you want to. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. Okay, now I'm using a lot less force than I did with the rights. And I'm really impressed right now. I'm very impressed. I'm extremely impressed. Um, how Brasso is just taking this off without any effort at all. Wow. That is shocking. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm going to go on the other side, and the nice thing is that it's very effective at cleaning. Um, no force, no, no real force or buffing force required. And look at that. Look at what it just did in just a few seconds. Um, I think I'm going to be using Brasso to polish the rest of this owl. I mean, wow, I'm just absolutely shocked. I had no idea. Uh, not that Wrights is a bad product, but I mean, Wrights did do a good job removing, but nothing like what Brasso is doing right now. I don't know how. Well, let's let's try something over here. Let's go. Let's get the Wrights, and we'll make this a fair comparison right now. We've got the Wrights. I really don't have much room to work now that I've got this camera right next to me, but we've got the rights over here. And the rights is a little runnier. The cream is a little runnier. Let's go on the other side, and we'll see what it does. 
you know, maybe uh, they both work the same. And now, there's no doubt that Wrights is cleaning it up. It definitely is cleaning it up. It's not cleaning it up as quickly, as effortlessly. It is removing the, uh, the dirt. So they both work. There's no doubt they both work. Um, and they're both very effective at what they do. Now I want to go back and get the Brasso. And let's apply, I know you should, I should buff this off or dry it off, but I'm going to get a little bit more Brasso. And there's probably a nice big echo in this video. Let's get the, yeah, the brass is definitely thicker. And I want to just apply the Brasso on here. Light, very, very light touch on this right now. I'm letting the chemical work and not the force of my hand. And there is no doubt that the Brasso is a much better polish. No doubt at all. Absolutely incredible what the Brasso is able to do. So when I was polishing this thing, I was thinking with the right, maybe this would take me uh, a couple weeks, many, many hours of time. And with the Brasso, I'm just thinking right now, um, I've probably cut my time in half that I'm going to have to spend on this, maybe uh, a couple hundred percent. Wow! Just incredible how it's cleaning. It really is incredible what it's doing. Uh, I want to try one more thing. Now, on the, on the left side, it took me a long time to do with the right polish. I want to try it with brass in it. It probably took me on the left maybe half an hour, being very careful, very gentle. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this cream, the Brasso, to the other side. And remember, like I just said, the left side took me, well, it's really the right, but the left side took me being very gentle, maybe uh, 20 minutes, half an hour. And... Look at this. I am impressed. Yeah, there's no doubt there's a difference in the quality of the uh, creams. And maybe you're like, ooh, the Brasso definitely has a smell to it. They both have a smell to it. I don't really see any residue. I don't see any uh, gunk stain on as I uh, wipe it off. Um, but I'm not getting into the seams yet. I'm sure I'm going to have to brush some of this off later. But there is no doubt the Brasso is much faster, requires much less effort, and does an absolutely beautiful job of polishing, especially, I'm sorry, my hands in the way. Um, I'm just using a, a light uh, shop cloth to do the polishing and very, very, very different experience between the rights and the Brasso. Dipping, like jewelry dipping, the uh, jewelry in there, I don't know. I don't know uh, what the difference would be, but for something like this, this uh, the Brasso definitely wins as far as this review is concerned. Hopefully this video helped you out. So uh, um, yeah, remarkable, remarkable difference between the two products. Thanks for watching, people. Okay, I'm going to take that back. This was done with Brasso. This was done with Rights. Brasso did not really clean as well over here as the rights did. So what I would suggest is buy both of them and depending on what you're working on is going to decide uh, which one you're going to like better. Um, Brasso I put on over here and I did a circular motion and it really didn't clean that much. Rights, as I said is a 
Now, brass is watery, more watery, but right side, just placed it on here, and it just cleaned this off right away, whereas Brasso did not, which is very interesting because Brasso worked very good around the eyes and the ears of the owl, and the Wrights did not. So these are both very good products, very good products, depending on your application and what you're working on here. So I, uh, I take that back, what I said. These are both... Um, good. I will not say. I'll take it back where I said Brasso was much better. Um, let's go apply some Brasso now so you can see again what I'm talking about. Um, trying to get it out of the bottle over here. Okay, so we're going to do a little Brasso right over here where I started originally and just going to do a little circular motion. Um, it's cleaning, but it's not polishing. It's not uh, removing the dirt easily. I'm sure with a lot more force and a lot more soaking, it would, but you can see it's not really removing anything. And now I'm going to go over, because I want you to see this with the rights, and I'm going to go show you the rights over here, and we're going to see what it does. Very light pressure on here. And all of a sudden, we've got cleaning. It's already coming off. You can see right over there. What a difference. So both of these products are very good, dependent on... Well, look at that. It's just coming off right now. It's coming off with no effort, or the Brasso did not clean it. Very surprising, as I said, because the Brasso worked really good on the ears and around the eyes. So my recommendation by both of them, click on the links in the video description. For both of these, buy both of them and test them both out on your application and you will probably be very happy with both of them depending on what you're working on. There you go.